Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this short video I'm going to be showing you how to manually pull shots of espresso with the Sage Bambino Plus espresso machine of a bob. So in the original video review, I pulled the shot manually without explaining what I was doing, why I was doing it and how I was doing it. And somebody's mentioned that in the comments of that video is why did I press and hold the shot button? And I thought, oh yeah, I didn't explain that. So. With the Sage Bambino Plus, you've got the two shot buttons, single and double, but you can also pull shots manually with this machine. And I personally much prefer pulling shots manually because it just gives you more control over the shot that way. And I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so usually if you were pulling the shot normally using the volumetric buttons, you would just press the single shot button for a single shot or the double shot button for a double shot, obviously. And these are preset. And the preset with the pre-infusion time and then obviously the rest of the pour. But you don't need to use them, you can do it manually. And as I said, I much prefer to pull shots manually, regardless of what espresso machine I'm using. And what's good about the Bambino Plus is that you can manually control the pre-infusion as well. All you do to manually pull the shot is press and hold the shot button for as long as you want the pre-infusion to last, then take your finger off, and then when you finish with the shot, press the shot button again. The shot button that you've pressed will be flashing. You press that same one again to stop the shot. I would normally have the scales under there with the timer under the cup. And I would usually press the timer button so that I can see what pre-infusion and what total shot time I've got. But I forgot to bring the uh, scales with me, so never mind. I'll just count in my head. Well, I'll count out loud, actually. So if we press and hold the double shot button, pre-infusion will start. So we'll do that now. I'm going to do eight seconds. One, two, three little monkey, four little monkey, five, six, seven, eight, and then take my finger off. Stop the shot, that was about, about 30 seconds. So there you go, I told you it was simple. You just press and hold the shot button for as long as you want pre-infusion to last for. Take your finger off it and the pressure will ramp up and the shot will continue to pour. Press the flashing button again to end the shot and you're done. That is as simple as it is. I hope you found this video useful and if you did please give me a like that'd be very kind of you and in a minute somewhere up here you'll see a, a little round subscribe button if you click that you will subscribe to my channel tatty bye